Hey ladies and gentlemen, today in the NCAA, we're going to be going over the delay bump and run, along with the fake blitz. In this first half of the video, I'm going to be doing the delay bump, in the second half I'll be doing the fake blitz. Here we just show a regular jam, regular bump and run. You're going to notice that they get jammed in around a 30 to 28 yard range, 28 yard line range I should say. And this happens on both sides of the field with all routes that are bumped. Just like a food stain, who knew it? I did, I told you so. Okay, guys, so to get the delay bump and run effect, we need to come out in the zone play. Here we picked a cover three. And what we're going to do is we're going to press, and then we're going to switch to a man to man defense. And you're going to notice I don't bring them back down, and they still press. Like a nigga seeing 3D, believe me, I'm going to be the one to change everything. Married to the game. Alright, a few seconds ago, I noted that the guys get jammed up around the 30 to 29 yard line. And here with the delay bump, you're going to notice they get jammed in the 26 to 28 yard line area. And that's the delay bump and run. I just need to stop, but I'm a chaser, I be coming after every shot, and every door that's closed, I'ma have to pick the lock, so raise the hate, cause I'ma ride it till I hit the top, you don't really know me, please don't take this personal, all you clowns, alright guys, now we're gonna be breaking down the fake blitz, uh, put this in my 4-3 defensive ebook, so be sure to check that out, there are several ways to do this, um, the first way is put your guy to spy and hold L trigger near the offensive line. So another way is to run into the offensive lineman and then drop back into coverage. Uh, basically all we're trying to do with the fake blitz is to distract the offensive lineman and get good coverage in the short passes, the under these stuff, stop the drags, things of that nature stop the quarterback from scrambling everything in that short area range as you can see in this zone play here a little gap on that left side for bringing that blitz and we want to cover that with our fake blitz that time I didn't fake blitz just to show you the gap but as you can see here I'm gonna use that spy I run into the lineman this time and use that method and drop back to stop that B receiver on the end route Another reason we use the fake blitz is to allow the blitz to come in on the other side. You'll notice on some plays that the right tackle or right guard will drop back and pick up your blitz on the left side if you improperly fake blitz, as you'll see on this play. The right guard just comes over and picks up our blitz, and we fail the left play. But as you'll see on this play, I'll use the left trigger method, and I'll distract both the right tackle and right guard.